What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix with Wi-Fi missing from settings or the Wi-Fi is not showing and how we can fix that. So let me directly get into start. So the first one is all about just go over here, search for the control panel and you have to click on the control panel. Now after you here click on network and sharing center. Now go to change adapter settings. Now we have to what we need to do is first and foremost to make sure that you have to disable then you have to enable it back then you have to check that might work in some cases if not you have to close this once again close everything go to the control panel once again you have to search for the control panel click on the control panel navigate to internet options now from here you have to go to advanced then you have to do is you just need to go to restore advanced setting just click on restore advanced setting once done with this one you have to check Still, if it's not working, just go over here, search for the settings, click on the settings. Now, from here, directly navigate to the network and internet. Scroll down and navigate to advanced network settings. Scroll down and go to network reset. Now, we have an option called reset now. While doing this, your PC will be restarted back. And keep in mind, after this, you have to connect back to your Wi-Fi manually. Then you have to give all the credentials of your Wi-Fi and that might work. The first and second step, most probably this particular step will be helping guys out. So if the second step is not working, we can follow the rest steps I am showing in, in this video. So the rest one is all about what we need to do is just go over here, search for the services, click on this one. And from here, you have to scroll down and navigate to W and navigate to WLAN Auto Config. Right click on this one, go to the properties. Make sure the starter type is being set into automatic and also the service, service status is set into running. If it is stopped, you can start it from here. Then if it is already running, you can also try just go over here, right click and go for restart option. So it will be also like giving a fresh start for, for the Wi-Fi. It will be grayed out and will be connected back automatically as you can see. Now you can check it. Still, if you're having the trouble, you have to don't forget to do this as well. That is WWAN auto config. Right click on this one and go to the properties. Make sure that it's set into automatic and also this is also service status is running. If it is stopped, you can start it from here and also make sure that you have to right click and go to restart. Then you have to check that might work in some cases as well. Now close this and stay. If there is an issue, then we just need to go over here. We can check for the Wi-Fi. You can disable it and all. Still afterwards, if it, this is actually not showing and this completely grayed out, then we just need to go over here search for the device manager click on the device manager now we need to expand this and navigate to the network adapters once you get into the network adapters what we need to do is you just need to select your wi-fi adapter so in my case it differs from person to person so i have to select mine go for update driver go to browse my computer let me pick then select the first one and go for the next after the wi-fi driver is updated you can check that might work in some cases as well now still if you're having the trouble then just need to right click and go to the properties now from here you have to go to advanced sorry have to go over here the power management make sure this particular box that allow the computer to turn off this this device to save power should uncheck then you have to check that might work last and the least step is all about you have to close everything go over here search for the run command press enter and this time on the run command you have to type msconfig then just go for OK. Now, once it pop up, you have to go over here to the general. Make sure the startup selection is set into the normal startup. Then you have to check and similarly go to the services. The first and foremost is disable all. Go to hide all Microsoft services. Go to enable. Now go for apply and go for OK. And they're going to ask you for restart and you can go for the restart. Once the restart is done and you have to check. And these are the steps when it comes to how to fix this. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye-bye.